325. Second stage lock, secure at flight level. Three oh seven. T minus two minutes forty nine seconds. FTS internal. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. With that call, the first stage tanks are now ready for flight. T minus two minutes, 159. Vehicle internal. Hydraulic pressure at 4,000. 155. Launch sequence or start. One forty. FCS launch enable. One thirty seven. T minus ninety seconds. FCSR. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. One twenty. FCS count started. OCUs armed. Minus one minute. Engine start box go. Rock, report range status. Range green. Fifty seconds. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. 30 seconds. Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 44. Fifteen seconds. Roll feed ignition. T minus ten. ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Main engine ignition. Three. Two. One. Zero and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NRL 44 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. On all three RCA engines look good in full press mode. Now 15 seconds into flight, able to begin the pitch over maneuver. Body rate response is good. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle assets data. 25 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good, body rate responses look good. Now 30 seconds in. Standing by for four booster throttle down momentarily. And core booster has begun throttling down as expected to partial thrust level, engine response looks good. Core booster has achieved partial thrust level as expected. Now 50 seconds into flight. Operating parameters continue to look good on all three engines. Now passing one minute into flight. Delta IV is now 4.3 miles in altitude, 5.8 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. Pressure. Vehicles also passing Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. 
Engine operating parameters continue to look good on all three boosters, port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Body rates continue to look stable throughout the boost phase of flight. Telemetry quality has looked good throughout the boost phase. Now passing one minute, 46 seconds into flight. And the second stage reaction control system is pressurizing to flight levels. System response looks good. Engine operating parameters on all three engines continue to look good. Body rates continue to look stable. Vehicle has now gone to closed loop guidance. Seeing some correction in uh, the attitude as expected when vehicle switches over to closed loop guidance. Now two minutes, 37 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes remaining in boost phase of flight. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Body rates in roll pitch and yaw have nulled out nicely now after the closed loop guidance switchover. And vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Vehicle body rates have damped out nicely now as the vehicle is continuing in the latter part of the boost phase. Approximately 30 seconds now remaining until port and starboard booster engines cut off. And approximately two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. And standing by for strap-on engines to throttle down. And strap-on engines have begun throttling down in preparation for engine cutoff. And port and starboard booster engines have cut off. And we've seen good indication of separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust as expected. Uh, engine response looks good. Now four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And the upper stage liquid oxygen system has begun boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. And approximately one minute now remaining until BECO. And upper stage fuel system has now begun boost phase chill down. Core engine continuing to look good in the full thrust mode. Engine operating parameters look nominal. Now passing five minutes into flight. And the Delta IV is now 71 miles in altitude, 360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,900 miles per hour. And approximately 10 seconds until core booster throttle down. And core booster has begun throttling down in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of separation of the first and second stages. Nozzle extension on the RL-10 is deploying. We have pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure on the RL-10 looks good. Body rate responses look good on the DCSS. Now passing six minutes, 15 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good on the RL-10. Uh, upper stage has begun initial thruster firings to, being, to begin catalyst bed warming. 
seeing a couple of periodic dropouts in telemetry. And we have seen good indication of payload fairing jettison. As you just heard with 26. that call for payload fairing jettison, that will wrap up this evening's live coverage of the broadcast. ULA's Delta IV Heavy made history this year when it became the first operational rocket to host 3D projection mapping. Let's take a look at the footage from this unique event. I'm Tori Bruno, President and CEO of United Launch Alliance. You are about to see the first ever 3D animated projection on an operational rocket. And of course, we have chosen the majestic Delta IV Space Launch Vehicle for this experience. So enjoy the show and God bless America. We are dreamers, inspired by possibilities not yet imagined. Believers driven to harness the potential of space. Leaders combining expertise and ingenuity. And it all started with a spark of the imagination. Go. FYF. Go. DFD. Go. Timer. Go. ECS. Go. QE. Go. USO. Go. OSM. Go. BSE. BSC is go. ALC. Go. AC. AC is go. RC. Clear to proceed. Launch director. The launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, main engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff! Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta Heavy Run. Although ULA's focus is on the future, we will always celebrate our incredible legacy. 140 missions, 140 successes, enabling our customers to save lives, explore the universe, and connect the world. From John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, to new ways of connecting the world. From the most accurate weather satellites ever deployed. Mandatory evacuation for Central Florida. To game-changing national security satellites. and launching missions throughout the solar system and beyond. To once again, sending astronauts to space from U.S. soil. commitment 
to our country. America has always and will always be at the forefront of space. This mission is no different. As we prepare to launch another critical asset to protect our way of life. The National Reconnaissance Office. When our country needs eyes and ears from the high ground of space, to give advanced warning to threats, to aid in the aftermath of natural disasters, intelligence questions. It turns to the National Reconnaissance Office. The leader in national space intelligence systems Over the next decade, ULA will continue to protect life on Earth with the introduction of the Vulcan Centaur. Our next generation rocket, a rocket purpose built for national security. Founded on the Atlas and Delta legacy of success. With Vulcan Centaur, we are engineering limitless possibilities for a safer, more secure existence at home and in space. We are dreamers inspired by possibilities not yet imagined. Believers driven to broaden horizons, we deliver progress above. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus 14 minutes, 40 seconds. I hope you enjoyed the